All right, so there's a new frame gen mod for the Steam Deck that can pretty much double your FPS for absolutely free. And if you're here, you're probably wondering how to install it. So let's get to it. The one thing I'll say before getting to the tutorial, this isn't an across the board thing. The game has to have frame generation in the settings. This just lets you turn that option on. So Cyberpunk, um, Hogwarts Legacy, Black Myth Wukong, etc. It has to be in the game settings. This just lets the Steam Deck take advantage of that. So not every game, but a good chunk of games and the one that i'll be testing today is hogwarts legacy so there's really only one requirement for this mod and it's to have decky loader installed on your steam deck and now if you don't have decky loader i'm going to refer you to the video here it'll be in the card or the description whatever wherever you click i have a video on how to set up decky loader so if you don't have decky loader go to that video and then come back but once you have decky loader it's as simple as dragging and dropping a file so i'm going to boot up hogwarts legacy quick 5-10 seconds what the frame rate looks like and then we'll get to installing the mod. Run the high preset with no ray tracing and looking around in the starting area we're getting anywhere from 30 to 40 fps. I'd probably say about 40-ish average because we're getting dips that are pretty nasty aren't getting 60 fps obviously but now let's go install the new frame generation mod. So the first step is to go to desktop mode so power and desktop and if you still need to install decky loader like I said go check out my other video link down below. But to install Decky Loader, you have to make sure the installer is on your desktop. If it's anywhere else, you're going to have issues. So you can see my downloads right here. I have DeckyFrameGen.zip. So this is the page where the mod comes from. And, you know, you can go check out the mod creator and all that. It's a super cool mod. Once you have Decky Loader fully installed, you know, make sure you reboot your Steam Deck, come back to desktop mode, get DeckyFrameGen.zip. And then I have two tabs here. So in one of the tabs, I'm going to go to Home, Homebrew, which only appears after Decky Loader is installed. And then you can go to Plugins. Now you see I have Decky frame gen right here. So I'm not going to actually do it, but what you want to do is unzip and put the unzipped folder right here. I'm not going to do it because it might mess up some of my settings. But home, homebrew, plugins, and put the unzipped folder right in here. And then once you're sure you have Decky loader and the new frame gen mod set up, just go back to gaming mode. Once you're in gaming mode, press this button over here and go to your plugins menu. Plug on the bottom which it'll be new if you just installed Decky Loader. If you already had Decky Loader, you already know where that's at. And in your plugins, it'll appear after you've moved the folder where it needs to go. So you tap on that. First time you open this, it will not say mod is installed. There will be a button to install it. Mine says uninstall. So you'll press that and sit on the screen and wait until it's installed because it won't work properly until it is. But once it's green and it says mod is installed, you're good to go. Scroll down to the game that you want to patch. For me, it's Hogwarts Legacy, so I'm just going to tap pet. And it says launch options set successfully. So now if we go to properties, under general, you can see put a new command to launch it. And that's the command that's going to activate the mod. So now let's relaunch it again. And the mod should be working. So now we have NVIDIA DLSS turned on. But now there's a frame generation uh, option that wasn't there before. So we can either have it off or have it on two times the frames. So right now it's on two. So now we're getting a little over 70 FPS, dropping to 60. But before, like I said, we were getting 30 to 40 FPS. And... This is with the same settings, and yes, I switched to DLSS, but just to use a frame gen, because it was on FSR at first, but whatever. We're getting nearly double the FPS. It's kind of situational. Now we're holding 60 and even getting over that. If you want more performance on games that support this, that's how you can set up the new frame gen plugin. So thank you guys for watching. That's all from me. I'm out. Peace.